Hey guys, it's me Max Rebo and I am back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing all my reactions to the live performances of Eurovision 2021. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Australia's entry called Technicolor by Montaigne. I am so, so, so excited to get into this reaction. You guys know, I am the biggest Montaigne stan ever, ever in the world, ever. I think that's undisputed at this point. No, I'm just kidding. But genuinely, the number one person I need and want and I need them to qualify from this set is Montaigne. If Aus if Australia doesn't qualify, I'm I'm gonna fight pretty much every single person at the EBU um, and every single person in Europe for not voting for it. I am so excited to see this as well because I'm interested to see how the live performance is going to look because Montaigne is the only contestant who's not competing actually at Eurovision. She was unable to travel from Australia to the Netherlands. So this performance is actually like a pre-recorded performance that they did for Eurovision. And I really hope that that doesn't affect them or hurt them. I hope that they use it to their advantage to do some really, really cool things. I'm so excited to see this performance. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. Before we move on with the video, I just wanted to remind you guys to follow me over on my Instagram at Maxi Rainbow. I've been doing a lot of Eurovision 2021 themed drag photo shoots, so make sure you follow me over there so you don't miss out on any of those. Oh, love this intro. I love a good silhouette at the beginning. Oh, look at her. I love that. Look, oh my god, this is another look I need to recreate. It looks like she's like encrusted in crystals with the like iridescent pieces. Oh. But everything. Ah, yes! This lighting is so cool. I don't like that effect though. It's a little cheap. Oh, look at her dancers! The like, oh, yes! Technicolor, technicolor. Yes! Technicolor. Uh, she needs to get into it more. Come on, girl. But I know she wants that like powerful, like, you know, feeling. But I want her to feel it a little bit more, you know, vibe. There's a future. I love her makeup. I love her hair. She looks so good. And yet I promise you, you saw your nasty dudes. Ah! To get my pot of gold. No. I really do not like that effect. And they like use it too much. It's too intense. We could add some apparition, which is like that kind of 3D, that, that effect. But they're they're like posterizing it as well. It's like Please. Oh my god. I love this. I love that it's like black and white and everything, and then with this they've got the neon lights during the chorus and all the colors. Ah. I wish we went back into that silhouette for this, because this is such a, like, standing off the top of a mountain, like, screaming out. But, ugh. She sounds amazing! Technia, technia, cala. She sounds amazing! We can do what? Yes! Girl power! <laughs> technia, technia, cala. Oh my god. Ha! Oh my god. I have not been this emotionally invested in somebody probably since Jamala. I just have such a love for her. I think that she's so amazing. She's she's one of the greatest artists to ever go through Eurovision. I'm sorry if you listen to her previous work. She has amazing music. Like, ah, uh, she should be the biggest singer in the world. Like, I just think that she, she has such an amazing creative vision. I love her personality. I love her as a singer. I love everything. Everything. I love her creative visions and her style. And, oh. Uh, my god, she needs to qualify. If she doesn't qualify, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna literally cry if she doesn't qualify. I think that this is Australia's best song ever. I mean, nothing will ever be better than the Zero Gravity performance, but this is the best song ever for Australia. I think that this song is amazing. Oh my god, it was just so good. I, ah, my gosh, she needs to be in that grand final. If she's not, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna literally die. 
So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Australia's entry for Eurovision 2021. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you thought about their live performance this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other videos that I do. As well as don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at Max Rainbow so you don't miss out on any post polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.